art was a powerful tool in South Africa's struggle for liberation, can it still be used today as a voice for social activism? Artists around the world use their craftsmanship to capture minds and communicate their messages. ENCA reporter Lindu Mbanza caught up with multi-award winning artist Blessing Gobeni, who is now running an exhibition at the Standard Bank Art Gallery. The significance of art can be measured in countless ways. 38-year-old Blessing Gobeni, born in the small town of Zanin in Limpopo, has chosen to use his artistic skills to reflect the times that we live in. Using various different objects creates abstract works. Gobeni says art in today's society should evoke conversations that define the presence of the living and how one can contribute to better living. And this art installation in the center. I want you to engage with your own provocation of living the life that you are living and what you need, uh, 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 what changes that you want to bring into yourself as an individually or with those that you think that they are shaping your life. Because I'm suffering from not knowing the reason why a black child is suffering. Maybe. Maybe I should say we are cased. All these structures that you see, everything that you see, it started with an artist. So we'll never at some point regret the pro, uh, the, the, the uh, 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 archival of being an artist as, an, as you, you, we do things. So what I'm trying to say that I think one has to find a meaning when you exist as a person because the meaning that we're trying to contribute, I'm looking at the parties right now. They don't even think about art. They don't even ex invite art. Guests at the exhibition experienced a wealth of teachings that allowed individuals to interrogate themselves as they navigate through the complexities created by history and politics. This exhibition by Blessing Goveni is reflecting the times that we're living in because he is in an artistic way commenting on the social ills, on the political landscape, on being black and what does that mean and the pain that black people suffer to say what is it, what is this pain to us and it allows us to interrogate ourselves when we walking through the gallery and taking in the art and say well, well how do I place myself, what is blackness to me? I think it's really important for people to stop, to think, to engage, um, and to really create conversations and have these conversations that Blessing is trying to, trying to start. Um, I think if more people did that in our country, we would have a far more understanding and empathetic society with a lot more humanity, really. What I like about the exhibition, of course, is just how raw it is, you know, how everything is expressed directly. There's no fear of addressing issues directly. So I think that's pretty cool, yeah. That exhibition is powerful and it's a stark reminder of the dark realities of Africa, of colonialism, of uh, you know, slavery and how it kind of continues to this day in different formats. And you know, for me as, a, as an expat living in Africa and as an expat living in South Africa, it's very important for people like us to be conscious of um, you know our background and the fact that we are you know people of privilege whether it is from money or from uh, you know our, our, our race even while we try to paint the canvas of our lives art can be many things to many people and carry powerful messages to help shed light on our social and political realities Lindy Wimbanza Johannesburg